defend the world from the return of the Shadow Kings, just as the brave Pharaoh did 5,000 years ago. YouTube, Vintage Yuki here today, and we're going to do a quick little mail day uh, opening. We're going to have some pretty uh, epic old cards there, and then we're going to open up this Legendary Duelist Immortal Destiny, uh, Legendary Duelist 5 um, in the series. So, real fast, I've already opened this item, obviously. We have a full... Uh, GX Ultimate Beginners Pack Exodia set here. So we got a Mint 9 right leg, 8.5 left leg, a 5.5 right arm, a 9 left arm, and an 8 Exodia head. So I got this off uh, eBay auction not too long ago. So always kind of uh, wanted to hunt these down in their secret rare form. So glad I could pick that up. I picked it up for way cheaper than what um, they normally go for. So it was during uh, a big, uh, big spree of um, other kind of bigger items. So I think that one kind of fell through the cracks on a lot of people's radar. So I got it for, for pretty cheap. Looks like this might be glued on. All right, so yeah, this is from uh, Instagram buddy from Canada, and there's uh, gonna be some graded cards. There's gonna be a, a sealed booster box, which I believe is this, and um, maybe s <laughs> and some Canadian. Cheesies. That's fun. I'll have to try those. And I think that's going to be it. Looks like you threw in um, some more Canadian stuff, so that's fun. I'll have to definitely try that stuff out. So, we'll see what these booster box is for you guys. You guys can probably see through the paper already, but if not, there we have it, a first edition Ancient Sanctuary. So this one's going to be staying sealed for my collection. Um, I do not, I have never owned a first edition box of that, so that will be staying sealed. And here we have some PSA cards. I think there should be about eight of them, but I could be off. It's been a little while. The mail has been kind of slow. So let's see what we have. Yeah, we have eight. Yep. All right, so let's go through them here. Orca Mega Fortress of Darkness, Invasion of Chaos, super rare. DD Designator, super rare. DD Scout Plane, super rare. Mudora from Dark Crisis. DD Warrior Lady from Dark Crisis. Mirage Knight from Dark Crisis. Different Dimension Dragon from Dark Crisis. And Kaiser Glider Ultra Rare from Dark Crisis. So these were all cards I needed for my slow quest to 243 um, hollows from the first 11 sets. So with uh, that being complete, we're gonna get right into it on this Legendary Duelist Immortal Destiny. So with this set, there's two really big uh, ultras. Um, we'll go through the breakdown right here. It's got 31 commons, 10 rares, eight supers, and nine ultras. So out of the nine ultras, there's two you really want to pull. And um, hopefully we can pull one of those two. They are Evil Hero, Adusted Gold, and Evil Hero, Malicious Bane. 
Um, I wouldn't mind pulling the uh, cover art here, the Cursed Necrofear. Uh, it's about a $20 card. So hopefully we can, we're gonna open all these and hopefully we can get some pretty cool pulls. Okay, pack number one. I would assume we'd probably get one of the ratio. Uh, maybe there's not, not a ratio. I would assume we get three ultras. There are only five cards in a pack and I think there's there's 36 packs, but I would think we would get three ultras. So we have a Sun Dragon Entei, Earthbound Immortal Revival, Supe, and a, this is not a guarantee to get um, a hollow. So we have Predaplant, Trip Fi Over Dumb, Butchered the heck out of that, I'm sure. But yeah, so you're not guaranteed a hollow in these sets. So, sleeve that one up. And that one's actually the best super you can pull. It goes for about six bucks. So, good start there. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with these cards yet. Uh, I just wanted to open the set because I've just never opened it. And um, this set doesn't have any real like old school stuff, but uh, still has the link to the old school with Bakura. Okay. Well, can maybe we have like a, a god box and every pack's gonna have a haul or something crazy. Alright. Nope. Just a rare Predator Prime Fusion. up here with since we'll have 36 packs. Earthbound Immortal Kakapak Apu. Separate the rares out here. Yeah, I think we'll get about three ultras and maybe four or five supers, but there's only eight supers in the set, I think is what it said. So we should get, you know, most of the cards. Moon Dragon Quilla, and another one. So I'm not mad about this um, pulling two of them. And we had a Proto Prime Fusion again. So if we're gonna pull duplicates of a super, that's the one we wanna pull, so. All right, so we're four packs in, and we've already pulled two supers, but they've been the same, but they've been the best super you can pull. And this super is actually worth more than six of the, um, it's the fourth most valuable card, so. Uh, definitely not mad about pulling it. Wow, that's a weird one. Gimmick Puppet Terror Baby, I would say. Number 40, Dark Fusion, Sun Dragon Inte, and Ultimate Earthbound Immortal. A lot of reprints from Absolute Power Force, Moon Dragon Quilla, and another Terror Baby. Okay. 
perform puppet. Probably about a quarter of the way through now. So maybe the ultra ratios are not as, maybe we'll only get two ultras. Dark Necrofear. Uh, Supe Duskwalker. So let's see if we can find what that one, that one's about a dollar. So unfortunately not one of the ultras we want. Okay, we'll get that sleeved up here. All right, so we have three hollows. And a predator planting. So maybe, we, maybe we, will, we will pull three ultras. Hopefully we don't get any duplicates unless it's one of the bigger ones. Doom Calibre, that's a nice reprint. Earthbound Geoglyph, super rare. Probably just hold on to that one. All right, can we pull an evil hero, a dusted gold? Doom Caliber, not in this pack. We have a hollow dark spirit of banishment, super rare, but that's a, uh, it's a cool looking super. Don't think that one has much, it's about a $2 super. So I don't think I'm going to get my value out of this box. Uh, I paid about a hundred dollars for it, but Really just did it to, to kind of want to open it, so. All right. oh. Evil hero, a dusted gold. Let's go. Yes. That's awesome. This is a hundred and five, hundred and ten dollar card right here. So, jinx myself completely on that one. hundred dollar card so we are gonna pay for the box so this has been a pretty epic we've had two the best uh, super pull twice and now we pulled the best ultra can we get evil hero malicious bane or a cursed necro here about halfway through the box. Predator Blast, Evil Mind. All right, well, can we pull another Evil Hero Adjusted Gold? Dark Sanctuary, that's a cool looking card. Supe, Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Okay, let's continue on here. So we've got six hollows already, so uh, maybe we'll get uh, probably 10 to 12 overall then if it continues. Dark Fusion and Predator Plane.
really want a curse, necro fear, or an evil hero malicious thing. Another terror baby. Better practice. Ultra rare. And that's um, the fourth best ultra you can pull. It is uh, about a $5 ultra, so definitely could pull worse. So we've got three ultras now and four supers. So we're doing really well in the ratios. And I would think with this many packs left, we pull at least one more ultra now. But could be wrong. Another tear, baby. Doom Caliber and Ultimate Earthbound Immortal. This is gonna be a hollow dark spirit of malice, man. That's another cool looking card. So, this one right here is about another two dollar and fifty cent super, so definitely not bad. So, let's see what we have here. Oh yeah, we got, I feel like this had way more than 36 packs, but maybe not. Oh boy, Dark Spirit Mastery. Wow, that looks cool with the, the Chaos um, Necro fear in the background. That one's worth about $1.50, so. But I think we're gonna, I mean, that's four ultras right there. I think we're gonna have to pull probably five ultras in this box. So that's pretty insane. I do not know if there's a set pull ratio or not. Supe. Perform Puppet. Starving Venom. All right, we're probably getting to the final third of our box. So can we finish with something epic? I would say this has probably been a pretty epic opening already. Dark Sanctuary again. Sun Dragon Inte, nothing. Supreme King's Castle. So I would assume we'll probably get an entire common and rare set out of this opening, but maybe not. All right, kind of hitting a cold patch here to end the box. So how many? Uh, this thing has 10 rares, yeah, so we're gonna for sure hit all the rares and commons. Okay. All right, nothing there. 
So, no, six packs left. So, can we get one more ultra? A Dark Spirit of Banishment. So we have a reprint on the super. And a Dark Sanctuary. So we got two duplicates on our supers, but not a bad super to get a duplicate on again. Right. Evil mind. All right, so we got four packs left, I think. Yep, four packs. So, hopefully we can get at least one more hollow. All right. Nothing there. Can we get something? Okay. Let's see if we can get something epic. A gimmick puppet doll. So we did get a super, and that's a new super, so. At this point, I don't even probably uh, care to pull. The only thing I'd want to pull a duplicate of is Evil Hero Adjusted Gold, uh, but I just want some variety at this point. All right, two packs left. Dark Spirit Mastery, so we pulled another Ultra. Wow. So unfortunately, we could not get, um, probably not. Uh, I'm actually probably gonna keep this sealed for my just pack collection. Um, might open it up at some point, but we're gonna keep that wondering what if on that pack. So. For now, I would say with all the hollows we pulled that it's very unlikely that there's one in there, but you never know. So let's probably gonna do a break in the video and then we'll get a recap of everything that we pulled. All right, so we're back here and we're gonna recap. So we have Earthbound Geoglyph, Dark Spirit of Malice, Gimmick Puppet um, Bisque Doll, I'm gonna guess. I could pr pronounce that wrong. <laughs> Dark Spirit of Banishment, twice. Predator Plant, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the last name, but we pulled two of them, and that's the best super you can pull. Then we got Dark Spirit Mastery, Mastery twice. We Supe Dusk Walker, a Predator Practice, and the big hit of the box, Evil Hero Adjusted Gold. So overall, I'll have the total up here, but I think we did really well for what you could expect to pull out of this box. And um, really enjoyed opening, opening it. And uh, there's some really cool artworks in this set. So definitely, definitely was a fun box to open. So I hope you guys enjoyed, comment, subscribe if you're not. And as always, thanks for watching.